Hey, sweet friends. Today I have some Dollar Tree DIY bee themed home decor items for you. I'm so excited to share with you all of my bee ideas. Let's get into this. This is OK at Home DIY and I am Zaina. Taking this octagon shaped home decor piece from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this frame that has like these honeycomb shapes to it. And I'm gonna save that for another DIY later. Marking off where I want to cut these down with my jigsaw. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out and get them cut down. When I come back inside, I'm just gonna soak them with some damp paper towels and then come back with that putty knife and scrape off that sticker. That sticker was so beautiful, but I had something else in mind for these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the paper towel back on that and let it sit for a little while. I did let them sit on there for around 10 minutes and I was able to easily scrape off the rest of the stickers. Coming in with just on the edges and on the back, I'm using my hippie, hippie crafter paint. This is called in the color Black Mars. I really like this. I will link it in the description box below for you all if you would like to order in some of these paints. Next, I'm coming in with some chalk paint. I did go ahead and mask off the sides and paint just the front. And then I'm taking this napkin. I cut just the edge of it off and kind of like a wavy cut, a wavy line. So it wasn't exactly nice and straight. And then I'm going to Mod Podge this napkin. Of course, I took that ply the plain ply off the back so it was just the printed front mod podge these just on the diagonal side completely okay that there is some hangover i will take care of that in just a little bit decorating this with just this corner of this wall sticker from dollar tree it says be happy and it came with a bunch of bees and flowers and so i just needed one more bee so i'm using that little piece up in the corner. Next, I'm just gonna put the bees that came on that sticker on the other two octagons and cover everything with a coat of Mod Podge. I'm using matte because I really like that sheen, but you can use gloss. And then I'm just coming back in with the lighter and burning off those edges. It makes it nice and crisp and clean. I love that you can use these actually for coasters or shelf sitters or even tiered tray decor. This video is part of the Unbeatable Open Invite Challenge. This is hosted by CJ DIY Crafting in Mimi's World and DIY craft a holic. The playlist will be linked in the description box below as well as all these ladies channels. Make sure you go down and check everyone out because there's going to be some amazing bee decor. This next one is super quick and easy, taking this bee wreath form and I'm just gonna take it out, spray paint it with black Rust-Oleum paint in the matte sheen and then come back in and make a loopy bow. Actually, I don't even know what these bows are called. It's my first time making this kind of bow. I just made some loops and twisted them and put them together and I'm taking a twist them and wrapping it around a couple times this I am going to secure the bow and also be able to put the bow on the bee. Taking my ribbon, just cutting it off and dovetailing the ends, attaching this to the bee. And this DIY is absolutely done. I love how quick and easy and simple this is. Love simple DIYs. So we were challenged to make either a wreath or a door hanger to be a part of our DIYs for this playlist. So I am making a door hanger 
going to stain this with my raw umber from my Hippie Crafter paint. And I'm using a, just a wet paper towel to give this just a bit of a stain. I like this method. It's quick and easy and cleanup is a breeze. Next, I'm taking that Octagon Honeycomb from my first DIY and I'm going to paint it a bright yellow to match my ribbon here. This ribbon is from Dollar Tree and it has little white octagons on it and so I wanted my octagons to be at least the same or close to the same color as the yellow of this ribbon. Folding in the ends and then folding them back up so they have kind of a hem look and the back looks nice and neat. Taking my bright yellow octagons, my bright yellow honeycombs now and I'm just going to hot glue them to my door hanger coming in with a bow that I already made with just some white ribbon. This is like a burlap ribbon. It's actually more of a cream. Put that right on on top of there. And then I'm taking the rest of that wall sticker that says be happy and I cut out the words be and happy. I really tried to cut really close to the letters so you would only see the majority of the letters. Now with the B, it was actually it had some flowers in the background and that came over onto the sticker onto the wall hanger here. So I'm taking my little utility knife and I'm just tracing around those letters and I'm coming back in with my little um, scorer piece from Dollar Tree and pulling out the little centers of those. So that helped me get more of that kind of Cricut look, smoothing that down. You can add Mod Podge to seal it all. I'm just gonna leave it as is and I love this piece. For this DIY, I'm taking this Dollar Tree bucket, came in a pack of three. I cut off the handles in the part that was raised up that was holding the handles. Taking some Dollar Tree rope, gluing it in on itself to make it a coil. And I am going to make a bee Skype or, or beehive. I don't know. So it's more like a beehive here. And I'm just hot gluing these coils, just a little bit of hot glue when I am not on every round, but like every other round to make sure that's secure. And I love how long this rope was. This was actually like half of rope here. I could wrap it around the top and then it started to go down around the bucket. Taking my next rope and I'm really just putting, pushing it in and try and get those fibers to really mesh with each other. And then I do a little, uh, little line of hot glue just to secure this first round. And then after that, I actually just looped it around, made sure it was tight. And then on the back side, hot glue, looped it around, make sure it was tight. And then on the back side, hot glue. And I did that until the rope was finished. This bucket did take, I would say, two and a half ropes, I would say maybe three at the most. If you're going out and you're buying rope, uh, make sure you buy three of them. Dollar Tree rope has gotten shorter and shorter over the years. So I really don't know um, how long they are now. So maybe even on the safe side, grab three of them. Now, when I got down to this point, I just did not want to use another rope. So I had some remnants of a rope that I took apart. And when you take them apart, the twine is just kind of loosely holding together. So what I did was make sure my ends were kind of nice and meshed. And then I'm twisting this and hot gluing it. So when I do this, the remnants part here, I have to twist and then hot glue. So every bit of the bottom here actually has hot glue all the way around. I'm doing that again with just another remnant part. This was just the same thickness as the rest of the rope. So it blends in real nice and well. So once I finish off the second remnant part, I say a remnant because this was just another piece of rope that was um, in my stash. So it wasn't a full piece of rope. After that was done, I'm going to come in with three pieces of twine twisted together to 
just do the bottom. I just couldn't, could not justify doing another piece of rope down there. So I'm just taking my scraps and making them work. Holding them with a little Dollar Tree clamp there and twisting and gluing as I go all the way around the bottom. Easy peasy. And I, I have to do this because if I left that little white rim, to me that would feel like it was just not done. And I like to try to do higher end DIYs on my channel. And for me, that means the details, get into the details and um, make sure those are really paid attention to. Next, I'm coming in with some boxwood. This is just a couple sprigs from a Walmart boxwood, but Dollar Tree does carry some boxwood. So keep your eye out for that. I'm going to go ahead and push that in the top up underneath the rope and that helps that. I didn't tell you that I did not a, a piece of rope to make the handles and then glued that on. So after I have that secure and belt, bent down how I wanted it, I'm just taking these beautiful pink roses from Dollar Tree and I'm trying to take the smallest ones off of there because this isn't a very large bee, beehive. So I'm actually just pushing them in between the layers of the rope and that's secure enough for my home and my DIY, but I would suggest if you're making this and you're got toddlers or, you know, dogs and cats, you might want to hot glue these roses right onto the bee scape. I also did not make like a little black hole. I really like just how this was after I got these roses a nice and secure. This project was done. I love this because I think it's just so beautiful. So I'm just going to take a jar for this last DIY and paint it with white chalk paint. This jar actually came with some fruit in it. I really liked the shape of it and it reminded me of a honey jar. So going to give that just a couple coats of white chalk paint, let them dry in between. And I really love this big honey calendar picture, but I'm going to flip it over and take the honey picture from the back. This is from the Farmer's Market Dollar Tree 2023 calendar. Now this is actually a bit of a thick paper and I was having a really hard time mod podging it to such a round surface but I stuck with it and got that really super wet and just kept pushing it down with my thumbs. Unfortunately as I was working with it, as it was getting wetter and wetter, I was rubbing off some of the paint. So of course I just had to come back in and fix that once that all that Mod Podge was dry. Next, I just work on the lid. I love this bead that I had in my stash. You can use any bead, any round bead. I like this because it kind of reminds me of the, the honey dipper top. And then I'm hot gluing it to the lid then filling that in with some hot glue. I'm trying to be very intentional on shaping the hot glue so it's a like little rounded on top there. So when this does get covered up with the black crafter, hippie crafters paint, it all looks like one piece. Next, I'm coming in with some of that beautiful honeycomb ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to finish the top of this jar off, making sure none of that hot glue is smushing out on the bottom, pushing it down in and hot gluing that down, securing it. I had to hot glue it first and then push it down and then hot glue it. So I just kind of did that all the way around the top. And then when that was all done, I could go ahead and just set whatever I wanted inside of it. And here's me showing you that I do paint that lid. And I love how this one turned out.
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps my channel so much. Stick around by subscribing. I'd love to invite you to join our crafting community. And remember, there is a playlist down in the description box below with more DIY inspiration. Make sure you have those notification sets. Come back on the 23rd. I will be sharing with you some napkin DIYs. I cannot wait. So until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.